Hello everybody, I hope you're doing great. In this video, I'm going to speak about simple present tense. Where, how and why we use simple present tense. Let's find out. Before we start, just pay attention to this example situation. Alec is a bus driver, but now he's in bed asleep. He's not driving a bus. He is asleep, but he drives a bus. He is a bus driver. Okay, guys, let's understand the right pattern. So, we usually say drive or drives, work or works, do or does. This is the present simple, right? So, I drive, we drive, you drive, they drive, but we say he drives, she drives, it drives, right? Guys, we use present simple to talk about things in general. We use it to say that something happens all the time or repeatedly or that something is true in general. For example, nurses look after patients in hospital. I usually go away at weekends. The earth goes around the sun. The cafe opens at 7.30 in the morning. So, we say, I work, but he works. You go, but it goes. They teach, but my sister teaches. I have, but he has. We use do and does to make questions and negative sentences. So, we usually say, do I work, do we work, but does he work, or does she work? Again, for negative sentences, we say, I don't work, or we don't work, but he doesn't work, or she doesn't work, right? Let me give you some examples. I come from Canada. Where do you come from? I don't go away very often. What does this word mean? Not what means this word. Rice doesn't grow in cold climates. In the following examples, do is also the main verb, like do you do or doesn't do, etc. What do you do? I work in a shop. So the second do is the main verb. He's always so lazy. He doesn't do anything to help. Again, the second do is the main verb. We use the present simple to say how often we do things. For example, I get up at 8 o'clock every morning. How often do you go to the dentist? Sarah doesn't drink tea very often. Robert usually goes away two or three times a year. So, guys, uh, keep this in mind that we use present simple to say how often we do things. Sometimes we do things by saying something. For example, when you promise to do something, you can say, I promise. When you suggest something, you can say, I suggest, right? For example, I promise I won't be late. Not, I'm um, promising. What do you suggest I do? I suggest that you... In the same way we say, I apologize, I advise, I insist, I agree, I refuse, etc. Let's practice. You have a little time to think and give the correct answer. So, let's do it. You ask Lisa questions about herself and her family. Write the questions. You know that Lisa goes to the cinema a lot. You want to know how often. Ask her. That's right. We usually say, how often do you go to the cinema? You are not sure whether Lisa speaks Spanish. You want to know. Ask her. So, we usually say, do you speak Spanish, right? 
He don't know where Lisa's grandparents live. You want to know? Ask her. That's right. We usually say, "Where do your grandparents live?" or "Where do they live?" You know that Lisa's brother works. You want to know what he does? Ask Lisa. So we usually say, "What does your brother do?" or "What does he do?" Let's move and jump to the next exercise. Complete using the following. I agree. I apologize. I insist. I promise. I recommend and I suggest. Mr. Jackson is not in the office today. So we say, yes. I suggest you try calling him tomorrow. I won't tell anybody what you said. I. We usually say. I promise. Yes, I won't tell anybody what you said. I promise. You are in a restaurant. You must let me pay for the meal. I. Yes, I insist. For what I said, I shouldn't have said it. And the correct one is. That's right. I apologize for what I said. I shouldn't have said it. The new restaurant in Baker Street is very good. I, that's right. I recommend it. I recommend it. I think you are absolutely right. I, that's right. We usually say I agree with you. I agree with you.